Hi Aries, welcome to your unexpected for March 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Also, this may resonate as yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. Okay, Aries unexpected. What do we got here for Aries? Unexpected for March coming in. Aries. Seven of Wands. All right. The Star card. That's Aquarius. Also boobies. Queen of Cups. That could be Cancerian. Eight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Oh. Six of Wands. Oh dear, I think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> it's happening. Okay, hold on. Huh? Okay, I'm good. Okay, so we've got Queen of Cups, um, Cancer, Knight of Cups, Scorpio, and then Aquarius, uh, or the star card could be Aquarius. Okay, so you've been... All right, so for the Aries, I'm... Oh, wow. Wow. You've like you you're starting off on the right foot. I, I, have you been have you been dating and kind of biding your time and keeping busy and doing the things and doing the stuff? Um, if you haven't been dating though, you've been kind of staunchly doing the thing, whatever the thing is. But it's not really. Um, it didn't, it could be dating, it could be not. But whatever it is, you're committed to it, and it's a conscious effort to move forward. Um, if you're not there yet, you will be shortly. But this is about this is about you reaching a turning point. Because um, there's just this desire to shift gears or head in a new direction and stay committed to whatever that new direction is. For some of you, it could be really delving into work or you know school, like really finishing a project um, that would lead to more opportunities. I know that's vague. But for others of you, this is just like, you know what, I'm going to pick myself up and move past something very difficult. So it could be that you're trying to move through a breakup or a relationship, you know, trying to move on from that. Or it could be that that's happened and this is you going, okay, I'm not going back, I'm moving forward, but I think I want to invest more in like work or projects or things like that than um, relationships. We shall see. All right. What's this Queen of Cups about? What's this Queen of Cups? Whoopsie. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Cups. Tell me about this Knight of Cups, please. <clears throat> The moon, that could be Pisces or Cancerian. This is Eight of Cups. This is Eight of Cups. Good for you, Aries. This is, okay, so we got Page of Wands. What's this Eight of Pentacles? This is Eight of Pentacles. So one, two. One, two, three, three eights. Oof. That's marriage. This is Eight of Pentacles. This is someone you've been connected to for a while. Okay. Up oh, too little, too late. What's this Six of Wands for Aries? What's this Six of Wands for Aries? This could be Taurus or um, Aries here. <laughs> two of Cups. All right, hold on. Okay, so first, for some of you, this is someone wanting to work things out and it's too little too late. And you're like, you know what? I just have different interests or different priorities now. Um, I think you, I think for the areas that I'm reading for, I, it, this feels like you have been or you will 
very short, shortly, very soon, uh, sequester yourself or kind of separate yourself from this. And instead of wanting to do, <laughs> excuse me, reconcile like this person has been waiting for, because I feel like they've left the decision up to you or whether you've wanted to move forward with a relationship instead of that, you're walking away. And it's because you've waited long enough. And even though there still might be some kind of connection there, your priorities are different or you just don't, it's almost like you don't want it to have that much of a hold on you anymore because this has been something that, um, it has just been very, it's never been easy. This it's just, it's never been easy or there's been a fit like it should have been. There's never been a fit like it should have been. Um, and instead of working on the relationship, this, it looks like you're going to be finding something or someone that is much more rewarding and fulfilling, which helps you in turn keep continuing progress um, and moving forward with this. So you're not interested in, even though this person is, it's like they're in the distant past or they're, you're, they're just, and it's not like you're having to really force yourself to stay away. You're going to be picking up some momentum here um, and you're not going to want to. So it's almost inconsequential if they are waiting around or if they do come back because you're finding other gratification in social areas. You might be dating, but you're not wanting to get too serious. Um, it's, it's going to be more of a choice for you if, how much you want, because if you want more dating, you could have it. If you want more, uh, if you want just an exclusive relationship, you could have it. This is about you being able to pick and choose because the past is no longer holding on to you. But I don't think for the areas that I'm reading for you could, you, you could choose a romantic relationship, but this feels more like you just kind of wanting to take care of you and focus on you and maybe date and go with friends and work a lot. For the areas that I'm reading for, this looks like just a lot of social activity, nothing really too serious or connected, but it's a good money month. It's a good working month. It's a good, there's some kind of shift in direction here that is that has you focusing more on what can provide for you, what can earn you money, um, and, and you really kind of getting into that. Maybe it's as simple as you picking up more shifts at work, but this is like an idea month there's something percolating or brewing and you're taking baby steps here. It's like um, beginning steps in the water to finding out what I'm getting some water here. Speaking of water, <laughs> finding out what, um, what's going to work for you. So there's that kind of helps you stay away or, or keep away from this sort of limbo that you and this person have been in that there's, there's still a connection there, but you're just like, you know, I, I can't, I can't do it because it's not secure. It's not stable. It's not, there's too much that is, would require too much work to work out. And you're really ready for the focus to be on you now in any relationship, just by yourself or socially work. Anything you do this month is going to shift from you doing for others to you doing for you. Um, and, and it providing for you pretty well. So You've learned a lot. There, there might've been some for the areas I'm reading for. There's been a couple months of introspection or just kind of laying low and you're ready for that to shift, but it's not like, okay, I just need a break and then I'll be better. I'll come back and we'll work it out. You've decided that, you know, I don't want, I just want to keep going, but now I want to focus on me and I don't know what it is, but this is, there's been a shift here. There's something that you're going to be investing in or putting your energy towards that is not just going to be for the month of March. It's, it's the beginning stages. It's planting the seeds. Something is starting this month. That's going to lead to, um, a, like a, a stable, this is what you're going to be doing for a while because it's going to gratify, be very gratifying. It's going to pay off. And I don't think you're expecting that. I think that's what's unexpected here is that you're turning away from a relationship that's no longer working or that you don't want to, you don't want to work it out. Instead, you want to work on, things for yourself and you want to move forward with that and, and flesh that out and see what that can give. And it might not be the first thing you try, but it'll open the door for the second thing. And third thing. It's like this path you go down and it just keeps getting better and better and better. And it's not just going to be for the month of March. It's going to be for quite a while. It's either a hobby. It's something that you're going to start that is going to be around for a while and is going to provide well for you for a while. And it's going to be very gratifying and that's where your focus starts or stays because of that, because of this new project or new hobby or new 
Um, it, it feels like work. It feels like um, gratifying work. That's where your focus is going to stay. And there's a lot of um, there's a lot of benefit that comes out of that because it kind of I think you'll find that instead of wanting to be in a relationship and make that work, the focus is shifted to what's going to work for me. And you really find a lot of enjoyment in what whatever this sort of work or career path takes you. What's this star about for Aries? The star about could be dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius. What's this star about? This is you deciding. You're shifting gears. Yeah, there it is. The King of Wands. You're shifting gears and the focus is now on you and what you want, what works for you, your life, what, what you want to do. You and and you've always been what for the areas that I'm reading for, it's almost like, okay, you do so much for other people, you retreat, and then you come back after you've had your rest and you get back in there and you try to work and you do for others and you did the same old, same old, same old. You've called it quits on that. I don't know that if you're expecting that. No, I, I don't think calling it quits was unexpected. I think you finding it gratified to stay quit, you find it gratifying, and whatever you're doing to kind of get you through the moment has kind of turned into something that you quite like doing. And you, you want to, you start to pursue that. You want to see where that goes. So it, I don't know if you just are able to focus more on something like a job or a hobby or a, a new career, something has, it's led up to this and you're now able to devote time to it. And you like that better, better than the relationship. We're going back and having to sort things out with the relationship. You're preferring this, whatever this is. It's not somebody else. Um, it's it's work related it's money career something like that study all of that what else for and don't get me wrong there's social time here but it's nothing um you're keeping that at a, a kind of a distance that's not where your peak interest is this whatever this new hobby something starts you start it's it it's kind of fascinating to you. Like it really holds your interest. That was for Aries. I feel grounded. That's good. Good. All right. That was for Aries. Right. There's that worker card again. Three of Pentacles. I like it. I like it. Enough is this is like enough is enough. And it's, this is about me putting myself first and thinking about some ideas, going here, going here, trying this, honing your skills, becoming very good at what you want to do or what you're doing, what you've been learning. Apprenticeship, um, that's featuring here. And it's, it's one of those things where you like doing it so it feels really good and it's giving back to you in that way and it's gonna earn you um, some money and it's gonna offer some stability and longevity. So this is almost like, say you've been kind of, you know what this is like? This is like people are separating and there's kids involved um, or not, but there's a, a marriage or a long-term relationship separating. And instead of you returning to work it out like you always have or smooth things over or sacrifices, you say no. And you'd rather go it alone, risks and all, to do your own thing and you find that you like that. Not Not only does the independence of it appeal to you, but you really like what you're putting your energy into. There, there's something about looking and going, you know what, in a year, this could be this. I'm going to keep at it. I really like doing this. All right, what else for Aries? Aries? All right. Whoopsie. <laughs> Follow your intuition. <laughs> yep. There it is. <laughs> Follow your intuition. That connection. And it's not a person though. And the thing is too, can I just say, that I think the reason why you're turning away from that whole um, working things out or sorting things out with your person is because it was very one-sided. This is your, For the areas that I'm reading for, it's quite possible that you were dealing with someone that was very immature um, or just kind of was a lot of work emotionally. 
a lot of high maintenance, a lot of issues. It was never stable. It might have been very passionate or romantic or kind of, but it feels like you've outgrown that and you're kind of over it. And it's a maturity thing at this point for you where you're like, you know what? I need some stability and I don't think I can count on you to provide that. And we, we got to grow up sometime. And I feel like I have, and I don't know that you have. And I, I just don't want to grow you up. I don't want to raise you. I don't want to help you with that. I want to do my own thing now. And yeah, so this is, that's what you're doing. And it's great as you should. Good for you. Your time now. This could be Sagittarius, by the way. What else for Aries? I love these dice. <laughs> what else for Aries? An ending or the world. But I also think this is potential too. I think, gosh, doubt it. I gotta see what these, I never remember these swords. I think that's potential um, also. I'm going to draw my, I say that every time and I'm actually going to do it. I'm getting my, my sharpie now. I'm going to draw a little dot so I know that that's the end. Hold on a minute. I know that this is a bottom there. Okay. There it is. <laughs> so th hmm. this is, well, like I was saying, not, this is it. So two things here. This is the ending for whatever you've been going back and forth with. This and you might have been separated physically, but energetically, you're cutting things off. Um, so this is an ending now. Um, you're not going to devote any more time to trying to understand it, to figure things out. The shift is going to be instead of using that mental energy to try and understand what happened and sort things out, you're not downed anymore. You're rising up and you're figuring out what you want for yourself. So instead of that energy, all that mental energy going towards this chunk of your life, the relationship and whatnot, that all of a sudden gets shelved. And because kind of a spark, you know, kind of lit up. I'm surprised the Page of Wands isn't here. Oh, <laughs> I was in here looking at me. There it is. Because of this, that's where, um, that all of a sudden holds your interest. And it's like, hey, there's something too. What, I want to do this more, whatever this is. And the mental energy goes towards figuring that out. And it's like you do a deep dive and it's like all consuming. It's just, it really is something that you just, it's almost like I was born for this. I was made for this. This is my thing. I got this. So that's going to really take off for you. No more energy trying to figure this out. No more devoting energy to that. It's shifted to looking to the future and creating rather than worrying or obsessing or or figuring out, oh, do I, because there's just this heaviness. You didn't want to go back, but out of loyalty and duty. Mm. And now it's like, no, no more, no more. Me moving forward, looking forward and moving forward. So good for you. So there's a shift, no more energy towards that. No more fresh start. And it's almost like you're out of the weight of having to um, figure it out. And then begins a new cycle to where it might be kind of chaotic and busy at first, but you love it. It's just what you need to keep you busy and to keep you moving and doing and figuring things out and maintaining that advantage and that momentum. So yay for March. Happy birthday to you, by the way, coming up. <laughs> okay. All right. Aries. Oh, I need more water. <clears throat> I can feel it getting scritchy. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful. Um, I this This feels good. It feels like you're like, yeah, I got this. Like you're not wallowing. You're just like, okay, it's time. Up and at them. Good for you. Um, follow your intuition. It's going to lead you on a, or take you on a passionate hunt, but not, well, I say passionate hunt, but I don't know. There's a fire lit here and, and you're going to want to follow it. So good for you. Okay. I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care and good for you.